Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong and wanted to do a review on this spinning rod. This is made by Cashin. This is a USA company, which is awesome. They make them in the USA. It's actually owned by a, a guy named Matthew Cashin. I had the pleasure of meeting him at, at ICAST in, uh, in Sanford, North Carolina. They, they make the rods there. And so I got a spinning rod and I have a, a bait caster. So I'm gonna do the spinning one first. I've been using this the longest. And so far, this has been an excellent rod. We're gonna talk about the pros and the cons. So I'll share both the, the good and the bad. This is not a sponsored post. And uh, we'll start with the good. And so I would say number one is just the fact that it's made in the USA. There's not many rods that are just truly made in the USA. So that's just really cool to see. And, and you can actually go to the, I know uh, some, some of our fishing club members have, have done a, a tour of their, of their facility. Um, as far as the performance, very impressive with the, the actual blank material. This is proprietary to cash in. Uh, Matthew has a doctorate in, uh, in material science, something on that field is way, way above my head, but he put together a proprietary carbon fiber layout for these rods and it has a really good blend of power and action. So it's a lightweight rod, but the, the power and action is, uh, is, is enough to handle really big fish, even though this rod is, is very uh, lightweight altogether. So as far as the, the, the power to overall weight ratio, it has been a, a very impressive blank, and that's why I think this is a, a company that's going to be, it's a, a newer company, but I, I think this is a, a, going to be an up-and-coming company. You're going to see a lot more uh, of these rods. They started out in the bass fishing realm. Now they're coming out on the inshore spectrum. That's their Icon series. This is the, the saltwater series of their rods. Uh, another unique pro is the fact that it has a gimbaled butt. Right? You can see that. So when you put it in a rod holder, it won't be, it won't be sliding around, and so not many not many lightweight rods have this, so that was pretty unique. I thought that was a cool idea. Uh, but again, overall, just the, the overall performance has been solid. So that covers the, the top pros. Now we'll go to the cons, right? We, we wanna make sure all these are unbiased. So me personally, I just don't like split gear grip rods. And so I'll just list that as a con. I know some people really do like them, but uh, it has, you know, has a, a, a steep ledge so that if I'm using my paddleboard and I put it in the rod holder, um, sometimes when I'm pulling it out, it'll get stuck on the rod holder and it's just frustrating to me. And, and when I do a, a two-handed cast, in many cases, I like to have my butt, my, my, my top hand, or my, sorry, my bottom hand around this area. And it just feels weird to have one hand on one diameter and the other hand on a thinner diameter. So again, that's just a personal preference. Another con I have on this one is that it didn't have a, a lure keeper. And uh, so this is one of their earlier models. So he's since changed that and he actually put the good lure keeper where you can secure weedless soft plastics, which is a big, a big pro in my book. So this rod in particular, the kind that doesn't have a lure keeper, but now the future rods, they have it. And so I would say that is a, that is a very nice, a very nice pro. The other, I'll say the last con is just the fact that it doesn't have cork. I'm used to cork handles. This one has the EVA foam. Um, although I, I typically don't like foam, this actually has been pretty nice foam and it's even a little bit ergonomic. You can see that it, it's indented a little bit. And so it just fits the thumb. And so as far as EVA grips are concerned, this has been the most comfortable one that I fish with. Uh, I still just prefer the cork handle overall, but uh, that's it. Those are the top pros and cons. Just wanted to, to highlight this, uh, this setup. Again, the good, good, good rod. I'll give you the specs of the one that I've been using. So this is the 7.6 fast tip, fast action and medium power. This has been a very good blend of, of being able to cast small paddle tails, getting a ton of distance and then having the backbone to handle big, big snook, big redfish, and so it's been a pleasure to fish with. So if you're looking for a rod, especially a made in the USA rod, this would be definitely one to look at. I don't know any other made in the USA rods that are in the $200 price point that are, that are this quality. And so for that alone, I would say definitely worth a look, and we'll put a link down below to the uh, to, to their site if you wanna go get one. And so if you've used this rod before, please let us know your feedback. Leave a comment down below, whether it's good or bad, we're not gonna take it down. As I said, we're, we're totally unbiased. Just wanted to, to start the conversation and at least for, in, in my opinion so far, uh, this has been very a very fun setup to fish with. And, uh, and if we can get one with a, with a full blank and a full cork blank, then I'll be extremely happy. But even still, it's a solid setup. And again, the fact that it's made in the USA is just so cool. So thank you so much for your time and watching that. Comment down below if you have any questions or any feedback on this setup. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers. We actually guarantee to help you find the fish, save money on your tackle, and meet tons of new fishing friends. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.